Hey there, it's Little Fox Simon, but you can call me HK. Today we're jumping into build mode to make a witch's home in a swamp. So this build is actually part of the Spooky Village collab run by the amazing Carriel Sims. I worked with Carriel before on a collab and it was absolutely amazing. She is genuinely such a sweet person and she always makes the collabs so much fun. And the other creators really are genuinely the sweetest and most talented people. So it is an honor to work with them. Definitely go show them some love and check out their builds and their social medias if you haven't already. I'll make sure to link that below as well. I'll be uploading our builds to our gallery and our social medias at some point today, which is the 23rd if I've scheduled everything correctly. Just as a side note though, my gallery upload may be a little bit before or after this video, depending on when I get some free time because of course I am away. This build is completely CC free, so if you don't play with any mods or CC in your game, you are still good to place this in your game if you want to tour around or take a look at it. Anyways, when I signed up for the collab, I knew I wanted some kind of witchy swamp build just because I never get a chance to really fully use the pawn tool and alligators and explore those features. So I knew that's where I was kind of going, but I wasn't sure the exact vibes that I was heading for. And the whole treehouse aspect was a completely different idea that I just kind of integrated into it, but I did end up liking it. However, as much as I enjoyed this build, it was a pain in the butt for a variety of reasons. So as I mentioned before, it is a treehouse and I looked and I was trying to figure out what tree I wanted and I couldn't find anything I liked, but then I found the live edit debug tree. That's the magical live edit debug tree, which if you haven't seen it in game, it has like a little door. It's an interactive object, interactive tree that if you like, what is it, water it, talk to it, something, the door opens up and then you can go into one of the magical worlds. I don't wanna say what it is because I know I'm gonna get the name wrong if I even try. But yeah, so that was fine. And I finally found the place that I wanted to place the tree house at with the whole, you know, deleting the lower floor and moving it like a faux basement, like the, that whole trick. And I go and I, I go to play test this, which yes, I, I did attempt a play test and it was like a weird glitch. And I tried to see if it was move objects that was messing it up, what was messing it up. And sure enough, it was the tree. But then when I went to go move the tree, it still didn't work. But then I moved like things like minor an inch, like, and then put them back and then they worked. So with that being said, is, is it play tested? Yes. Is it supposedly functional? Also, yes. Do I know if it's going to stay that way if you replace it from the gallery? No. So please at your own risk, if you want to use this for actual gameplay, you know, maybe test it out before you go putting your sims in there and then accidentally starve them. So I would definitely err on the side of caution if you were to place a family in there to live, just because I don't know whether it's going to cause havoc and make you want to tear your hair out. But if you're just doing something for like screenshots to showcase your sims and it's just set dressing, you should be fine. One of the other issues I had, which you maybe will catch it in the video. Who knows if you'll catch it? I think I did a good job of editing it so it looks a little bit less obvious, but I had gotten pretty far in the build and I think you already know where it's going just by me saying that but I got really far into the build I was furnishing all this stuff and I have this section of the build that is just for for decorative purposes right it's not a functional room like it has like a cauldron and I made the silly mistake of putting a mannequin there because the mannequin glitch is supposedly fixed however <laughs> I went to go place it and I think it could have been just the game being like, okay, I'm fixed, but I'm not that fixed kind of thing where I went to go use tool to move them ever so slightly and my whole game crashed and I didn't save. So I rewatched the video and tried my best to replicate what I had, but then I made like a few artistic choices and like changed it up a little bit and I didn't record that. So if there's minor changes, that's why. But yeah, no. <laughs> when I when I was playing and it, it was fine. The mannequin is fine now. Um, but just be careful. And with that, I'll leave you guys to sit back, relax, and watch the rest of this video. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and of course comment below anything that you would like to see. And as always, I hope you have a stellar day. Thank you.